music video is going to be a Funko Pop haul. And I love to buy Funko Pops. I think they're really fun if you want to go looking for a, a, like that one you really want. Like, that's my ring camera. Someone's getting in my house at 2 o'clock in the morning. But I'm not going to go see. Wait, should I go see? I'm going to go see who that is. Okay, it was just my brother. He didn't have his keys. Anyways, the first Funko Pop. The first Funko Pop I'm going to show you is it's already out of the box. It was damaged when I bought it. I didn't want to keep it, so I just threw it away. It is Summer from Rick and Morty. So, like, she has a little phone. She's in her outfit. And she also comes with a stand, which is really great. I love when Funko Pops come with a stand. So this is much. And I paid $2 for her, which is a really good deal. For this, so Ross, thank you. So, yeah. I think I'm going to put her up here with Batman. Oh my god, I don't want to fall. Oh, I forgot to also say, I also got this hoodie today. It's a Teen Wolf Bacon Hills hoodie, and I'm so excited. Anyways, the next Funko Pop. The next Funko Pop, I feel like I hear things like missing. The next Funko Pop I have is from Game of Thrones, and it is, and it is the Night King. Like, look how cool that is. And he was for, I got this at Ross too, and he's, he was for $3.99. That's not a bad deal. Um, I'm not really a Game of Thrones fan. I bought it because it was there and it was not expensive, so I bought him. So, I don't know if I'm going to open him. I mean, I don't, no, I'm not going to open him, but here it is. The King, the Night of King, King, Night King. Oops, Night King. Yeah, he looks cool. Imagine if he glows in the dark. I gotta look that up if there's a glow in the dark version of that. This one's kind of, this one I had a buy because it looked really cool. So this is also Game of Thrones Funko Pop. And it's Jon Snow with, I can't pronounce that name. Like I can't. And it's a dragon. So it's cool. I was wanted a dragon Funko. And he was only $10 at Ross. So $10 I had to buy it. Bag I couldn't not buy it. I might re-gift this to my family member who's addicted to Game of Thrones. I might. So I'm not, I'm not going to take it out of the box to show you guys. So let's put them right here. So this next Funko Pop, I got it at Big Lots. And it's really cute. I could not resist. I didn't buy the other one that came with. Even, because there, there were different prices. So I got this Mickey Mouse like Christmas Mickey Mouse like he's in the Santa costume and everything and he was only at $8 Minnie Mouse for some odd reason was $14 and I was like I don't want to buy that so I got Minnie Mouse and the ones you could get is Min I mean Mickey Mouse oops I said Minnie Mouse but anyways the ones you could get is Minnie Winnie the Pooh Piglet so I'm really excited yeah so 8 bucks have big lots really cute I don't know if I'm going to open him I think I'm just going to leave him in a little box like, there's certain Funko Pops I will open, and there's certain Funko Pops I won't. I have some out of the box because their box, is, their box is damaged, so I don't try to open them and show them off sometimes. Let's put that over there. So, this came today, too. This big box from Amazon, and I ordered four Funko Pops off of Amazon today. Anyways, let me show you. So... I have Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and she costs four dollars. And she's so pretty. Like in the movie, she's beautiful, and my ring light is reflecting. But she's so pretty. Let me open her. I really want to open her up. Oh, and she comes with a stand. So let me put it right here. I might keep her out of the box. She's really pretty. So I love. She look at have her on her stand. Oops. Okay, she doesn't want to go into her stand, but it's okay. But look at it. she's like as oh, and he's like that's she's so nice. I love. I, she's my favorite character. I think Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of my movies that I could I have to watch. Like, at number five on the list. Like look at her little her bell. The green, the purple, I love it. And then they've added a tambourine, the purple headband. I really love this Funko. Like to die for. I'm glad it was only for five, uh, four dollars. So you know it's a deal. I feel like if you get a Funko for cheap, you should buy it. Like never, 
leave a Funko behind if it's cheap. Even if you don't need it, I would still buy it. And on the back, you can get you can get Cosimodo as himself and Cosimodo Fool. My ring, okay. Anyways, so that one is really nice. I think I'm gonna put it up a box. Anyways, the next Funko Pop I got was for eight dollars, and I got the remix of the Alien ones. And I noticed that these just came out at the long ago, so I got Buzz Lightyear remix one. And he was did I say the price? I think I did, but he's eight dollars. He was eight dollars on Amazon, and I'm gonna open him because these I'm gonna probably open all of them. So I'm planning on getting was Russell, Doug. And Carl, I really want those three. I don't care for the rest, basically. But anyways, let's open him up. So, oh my God, look at that! I like it, and it, I like the plastic. I want it makes me want to open it, but I, you can't open it. But you can't move his head really. But look at that! You have light year on the, like the little light year sticker. That's kind of hard to see. But this is really cool. I th it doesn't look like a Funko, like you know what I mean. I think it's the three eyes, but you know, it's cool in my opinion. It was worth the money. Anyways, let's put it right here. There you go. Anyways, these last two Funko Pops have to be my favorite, absolutely favorite purchase I ever did with Funko Pops. I usually don't go over like 40 30 dollars on a funko i usually don't like the most ever spent on a funko has to be 46 dollars and it was a baymax diamond edition hot topic exclusive for my birthday thanks for that mom anyways i got woody as the, the alien as woody but the problem I have with this one is that it is so damaged that the box came damaged. It came opened. I mean, I I'm going to throw the box because I don't want to keep it because it's damaged. But Amazon should at least care and put care in things like this. Because pe we I like the boxes, but yeah, I can't keep the box. Look how damaged it is. Like, I'm gonna open him up. I'm gonna throw away this box. Like, I, I don't wanna keep it, so. Oh, wow. So, this is this. That's this trash. Wow. Oh, the cord fell on my. Anyways, look at that. This is really heavy. Like, like a, a heavy, heavy. But look how cute it is uh, with this little antenna poking out. But in the back, you have his little. What is it? What's, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that makes sound basically. Um, his uh, holster right there. His little share effect. Oh my god, this has to be one of my favorite Funkos I ever bought. I'm, um, This has to be a really good. One of my best choices, I mean. Like, I don't regret buying this at all. It was, it was worth the money even if the box came damaged but it's okay let's put him right here <laughs> that's so cute like look at that anyway my last funko wait there's something in the box at this okay anyway this is my last funko pop i bought and i got the alien solly one and it actually surprised me that the box is in perfect condition nothing like it's banged up from like the bottom like right here so that's pretty much it i don't know right here too like it's kind of dent and kind of ripped but besides that that's the only flaw i see wait never mind like look at that that's sandwich too i don't know if i want to keep this box i might I don't know. But look how cute that is. Like, it's adorable. So, I paid $32 for this one. That one, I paid um, $27. So, the Woody was $27. This was $32, $33 at the most. But this one's really cute. Um, I think I'm going to open him. 
I gotta tell myself I wasn't, but screw it. I'm gonna open it. Not, I'm not gonna sell these, so why not? This one won't open. Oh my god, it has a tail! That's so cute. That's so cute. Ta-da! Oh my god, this one's so cute. And the tail! I'm in love with this one. I'm in love with this one. And what do you, these have to have to be my favorite product that I mean product. Yeah, the one my favorite Funko Pop I ever bought. Oh my god. I don't regret buying this one. Like it's so cute. Let me put this back in the box. I think I'm gonna keep the Sully box in my closet. But I'm, I just might keep the bigger ones on display. So, you know. I think my next Funko haul would be in a couple weeks because I do I did buy Edward Scissorhand and I bought I bought Edward Scissorhand the child uh Woody and RC I did buy a couple new ones and they're coming next week or so I didn't want to wait because these are cute and I didn't want the haul to be that long so like so I do recommend buying this one it's so cute and it's so huge like the size of my head so this will be um basically the end of the video i hope you enjoy comment down which funko pop did you like to see and yeah like and subscribe and stuff see you next time bye <laughs>